All right, hey, Shalom, Makyam. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweshai, Bahashim Rakak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. We are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simul Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to Holy Scriptures, we're God chosen people. Shalom to all the brothers out there pushing his knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to the Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad, who are scattered throughout the United States looking like the other nations. Uh, what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one ignorantly called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, and the Heavenly Father name is Yahweh, the one ignorantly called God or Jehovah, and they are so-called black men according to the scriptures, man. Um, coming back at you with another lesson, man. Through, through the divine spirit of the Heavenly Father, the Holy Spirit, it's going to be about, um, you know, forgiving thy neighbor and loving one another, loving one another man, with fervent love. Because we are a broken nation who's being healed right now through, through the um, through the word of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. By Yahweh Shai, the one you ignorantly called Jesus Christ dying on the cross. To, to bring us back to our power our father Yahweh. so um right now we have to relearn these steps relearn these commandments all over again in this wicked flesh and one of the main things uh, of, of building a nation of becoming a better person a better brother even a better husband is this is love man and, and forgiveness love and forgiveness man so there's mainly you know you know about myself and, and what I've, you know, through this new year is coming up, I, I need to, you know, I'm going to be working on this, loving loving uh, my neighbors uh, better, my, which is the brothers and forgiving. The main, main one is forgiving brothers, man. That's the main one. And not to be holding any grudges, you know, because we, we um in this flesh and, you know what I'm saying? We we battling a lot of things that, that, that you know, that that you know sometimes you know hold down our spirit from elevating man from living leveling up in this truth and it blocks you all this hating fucking grudge and animosity blocks uh, your, your your mental or focus what the lord is really trying to show you man because ultimately we all want forgiveness because hey man part of getting on this chariot is, is to take that beam out your eye and 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 and, and forgiving your brother man Moving on now, you know, certain brothers, you're not gonna be the best of friends in this thing. But so what, brothers fighting or, or and brothers is on the battlefield doing a show, showing you know, showing some type of brotherly love. So be it, man. It's all about getting the hell up out of it. And the kingdom, we're gonna be back, man. It's good. The kingdom, man, we're gonna really live, man. We really gonna have love in the kingdom, unity, man. It's we're gonna prosper for real as a nation. We're gonna be sovereign again. But it starts right now. It starts with you, man. It starts with your individual walk and what you and what you exuberating throughout the body of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. So without further ado, I want to keep rambling in Sirach chapter 28, verse 1, and I'm going to read a couple of scriptures. It says, He that revengeth shall find vengeance from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and he, sh and he will surely keep his sins in remembrance. And that's what you don't want, man. Cause you want when you when you pray to the Lord, you want to pray for forgiveness, and and you asking the Lord for forgiveness, you got to forgive your brother. You see every day, we don't see our Bashimel Bashar man, physically. It says, "Forgive thy brother the hurt that he had done unto thee." The key word is brother. Forgive thy forgive thy neighbor, which is thy brother, the hurt that he had done unto thee. So shall thy sins also be forgiven when thou prayest, man. That's that's the point right there, man. You gotta you gotta really portray that, and you gotta, you know what I'm saying? Be able to move forward from 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 things that happened in the past, man. That's that's within you know your individual life, cause we all been scarred, man, beat up, all types of things happened to us during our lives of being Israelites. We're all tough individuals, man. Ain't no time for egos or whatever the attributes the Lord give you is, is for you to to help. Uh, build this body up. We 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 all don't have it a hundred percent, man. Together, I mean, by yourself. That's why there's a body. When you form a body, you is you got you got the head, you got the arteries, you got the fingers, you got the man. You're you're complete with the brotherhood, man. You see, so we can't be harboring none of this hate and grudges and all that stuff. Talking for myself first and foremost, because you want forgiveness when you pray to the to Heavenly Father, man. 
You know, you understand? It says one man bared hatred against another, and do he seek pardon from the Lord? So you can't be bearing hatred, man. Secretly, man, and I speak for myself. That's that's a man. That's that's a that's a tiresome spirit, man. That, that's an evil spirit, evil ass spirit, man. Straight up, man, we family, man. We family. We the tribes coming back. The Lord could have left us out here, man. We in Babylon, man. We are in the, the valley of the shadow of death. And you even have brothers in third world countries, man. You see? So we are very, very special individuals. And we got it. We can't move with all this hate, animosity, and hatred, and grudge, man. You know, this, speaking for myself, first and foremost, I'm going to exuberate to, to, the, to the, um, the body of, of Yashra Allah, man, and the elect. All right, he showed no mercy to a man which is like unto himself. Yeah, we're, we're man, we we all striving for that penny, man, and we're not one of us saying you might be smarter than me, whatever, whatever characteristics and traits gifts the Lord give you is for the body. You might be smarter than me, and I might have more faith than you. That's that's the body. It balances it balances thing out. Balance. It's, it's all about balance, man. We gotta balance each, each other out. You know, we, we all need love in this thing. We got to love one another, man. One man bear hatred against another and do he seek pardon from the Lord. You're not going to, you're not going to, come on, man. You ain't, the Lord ain't going to pardon you. You show no mercy to a man, which is like unto himself. Do he, uh, and do it, he ask forgiveness of his own sins? Question mark. If he that is but flesh nourish hatred, who will entreat? For pardon of his sins, because we in this flesh, man, and, and, and it's full of hatred, yo. You might be, uh, man. Listen, we ain't getting away with nothing, man. You gotta show love to your to your brethren, man. You gotta show love to yourself. You gotta show love to your significant other, to your children, man. It's love is the healing of a nation, man. Under the time of King Solomon, it was nothing but love, man, for forty years of peace. Imagine the kingdom, man, and the kingdom of heaven starts with us on this side in this filthy ass flesh, man. It says, remember that thy end and let enmity cease, man. We ain't got time for that no more, man. We're, we're entering some very, very serious times. We're going up against the whole world. We're going to be looking crazy as hell. And all we have is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All we have is us, man. Straight up, your, your fellow comrades on the battlefield in different camps, different regions. Different countries, man. All we have is, is each other, man. Remember corruption and death and abide in the commandments. Because in these bodies, is corruption and death. And how you fight is through these commandments, man. Through, through the, man, through the knowledge and wisdom of the Most High, man. To love the Most High with all thy heart and to love thy neighbor as thyself. It says, remember the commandments and bear no malice to thy neighbor. Remember the covenant of the highest and wink at ignorance, man. Certain things, brother, that say, just like, whatever, man. Hopefully, you know. And you might, you know, might have to talk to the brother, man. And that's it. And brothers, when brothers come talk to you, man, don't be looking away and stomping your feet. Look that brother, look that man in his eye, man. That's a fucking man you're dealing with, yo. I'm a man just like you. Respect my mind. Respect where I'm coming from. Like, I respect your mind. Where the fuck you coming from, man? There's this fucking American ass shit, man. That shit has to go. That's why the scripture said, remember the commandments, man. This man is fighting for his crown. Just like you fighting for his crown. Ultimately, we fighting for our kingdom, man. We fighting for our people, our nation, our planet, our, our children, man, our women, man, our, 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 our freaking um, our animals, man, the trees, the air we breathe, freaking water, man. All right? So, so you can't be bearing no malice. You got to abstain, uh, abstain from strife that thou shalt diminish thy sins for a furious man will kindle strife. Yeah, man, we ain't got time for that, man. You wrong brothers, man. It's all about spreading love to one another, man. Respecting one another, man. That's what this thing is about. Fuck your ego, man. Like, oh, oh, oh man, the Lord's looking for a humble and contrite spirit. We, 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 we're worms, man. Not, not saying, oh, we, you know, people treat you like shit or talk to you crazy, man. You got to really... You know what I'm saying? Be on, be on your P's and Q's with the brothers, man. Love one another, man. Straight up. Forgiving one another. Forgiving one another. Forgiveness, man. Even with family members in the world, you got to forgive people, man. I, I, I've been harboring a lot of shit. Damn, to me, I got to let that shit go, man. 
I gotta let all that shit go, man. And, and, and it's time to love up and do better. Starting off with myself, brothers, man. And, and that's real talk, man. Uh, 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 Leviticus chapter 19, verse 1, it says, And Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, Speak, un speak un unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, and say unto them, He shall be holy from I, Yahweh, for, for I, Yahweh, your power am holy, man. You got to be separate from this world and how people move out here, man. We got to move in a sequence in the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, uh, loving ourselves and, and forgiving one another, man. So I'm going to jump down. To the point, and it says, uh, thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart, man. Nah, man, that's your mind. You might be working and, and, and Satan to bring shit in your mind that Jake said or shit done to you a couple of years ago, even a month ago, man. I mean, fuck all that, man. We moving forward, man. We pressing forward. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So you got to rebuke him, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to rebuke him so, you know, that sin be removed from him. When brothers come at you, got to listen. And don't be lying, man. Don't be lying to brothers, man. What the hell you think you're getting? None of us, yo, this is deadly serious. Lord can spew you out, man. And we, we brothers, man, we all from different walks of life. You understand? We all tough individuals. We're all smart individuals, man. You understand? We're the Israelites, man. There's nothing new underneath the sun. You're not bringing nothing new to the table. Yo, yo, you might from be a family, got a family of killers and in and out. Me too. Been through all kinds of shit. Me too, brother. You know? That's that. We're all tough individuals, man. And we're, we're very blessed to be in, in the position we're at, man. We ain't no fucking punk motherfuckers, man. It doesn't matter how much, if you're a better fighter or whatever it is, man. None of that don't matter, man. We all try to achieve a kingdom here, man. All right, and we looking down on no brother, man. Embrace one another, man. Love one another, man. For real, for real, man. And he shall, um, yeah, that's it on that, man. It says, thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge. Got time to be grudging, man. Got to spread that love to brothers, man. Spread that love to yourself. Starts with yourself, with your with, uh, with your mental uh, attributes, man. And this is how Shai speaking right here. Matthew 22, verse uh, 34 to 40. And it says, But when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. These were wicked Israelites, man. Just because they have the title of a Pharisee and a Sadducee doesn't mean they're wicked. These were the wicked ones who you know, came up against the Lord. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him. And saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul, with all thy might, man. You, man, brothers, you're going to get frustrated in your mind, feel like giving up and all that. Hell no. You got to remember this, man. The most I could have left us in the world, man. We could have been behind bars. I could, the Lord could have left me in a third world country, man. Out there in the streets. Brothers could have been in, in brothers from out here from LA, from Watts, man. Crazy neighborhoods. Crazy family upbringing. Lord could have left him out there like that. Lord could have left, man. We could have been all kinds of stuff, bro. Like, really open your mind and look at the big picture, man. We teach downtown LA and the and the and um the ratio of um of um homelessness is 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 rising and it's all Jake. Lord could have had you out there in the streets, man. So be thankful for your one little bedroom apartment, two bedroom apartment, even if you rent in a house. Even if the most I bless you to put for a mortgage, man. Be thankful, man. You know? Straight up, man. You got food in your belly, you know, food in the fridge. A little bit if you got a little bit of savings, man. You know, be thankful, man. Decent car. You have a job to, you know, to, to, to take care of your family, take care of yourself, man. It says this is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto the Unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, man. Would you hate yourself? Why are you treating your brother like shit? Same thing with your woman, man. You hate yourself? Why are you treat your woman like shit? On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets, man. This is very serious, man. Very, very serious. You know, there's another scripture I want to, you know, because we go into every Saturday we go towards the altar and we send up, you know, prayers every day. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta squash all that beef, man, with each other, man. Starting from myself, 
you know, and that's that. Look at the bigger picture. Okay, um, Romans. Where's Romans at, man? I'm tripping over here. Yeah, right, right there. Romans chapter 12. Verse 9 to 21. It says, um, let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good, man. Let's look up the word dissimulation. Let's see if they give you an in-depth um, definition here. Unfinged, undisguised, sincere. Yeah, it has to be real love. Real mother effing love, man. Not with these were words, man. Give a brother sound advice looking out for a brother, man. I mean, they be, you know what I'm saying, laughing at a brother with, with like with evil in your heart, man. That's that's not cool because it can happen to you. You got to think about yourself, man. You, you, you sh Come on, man. We're, we're in tribes coming back. We're family, man. And we were once a spiritual family for this physical thing. Now we got to get it right. And this time we get it right, it's going to be forever love, man. Forever peace, man. Forever unity. It says, aboard that which is evil, clean. Cleave to that which is good, man. You got time to hold, hold up evil, man. Cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love. In honor, preferring one another, man. Yeah, you want to you wanna be around brothers. Yeah, you know, sometimes you can't be around brothers all the time, but it's time to link up and, and, and you know, blessings, man. Blessings, man. Love, man. Love but love and blessings, man. So not slotful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the most high, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, Con continuing instant in prayer, man. You got to pray without ceasing. Distributing to the necessities of the saints, Given to hospitality, man. You got to show love. Brothers coming to town, man. You got to show love, man. You got to be there with the brothers. Make sure brothers is good. And that's that, man. Bless them which persecute you and bless and curse. Now, yeah, man. You have, you know, certain dudes that don't belong among us. Hey, man, the Lord going to deal with you. We can continue to do what's right, man. And you got to deal with that, man. Lord willing, you repent. You know? Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep, man. You understand? You got to feel a brother pain, man. Brothers be going through some things. You got to be there for one another, man. It says, be of the same mind one to another. Show that love. Mind not the high things, but condescend to men of low estate. All right? You got to deal with the lowly. Be not wise in, the, in your own concites. It says, Re recompense to no man evil for evil, man. Nah, man, we fuck that one up shit. All right. Nah, why like, you got that's that worldly stuff, man. Talking down to a brother, man. Like, who the fuck are you? You're, you're a worm just like me, Jack. But all that, you got to kill all that, man. Respect, respect brothers' backgrounds, where they come from, whatever they bring to the table. And that's what it is. You know, recompense no man evil for evil, provide, provide things. Honest in the in, in the side of the Lord, which you gotta show that love. Things honest to the most side showing love, man, to your brother, man. Love, love to uh to, 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 to the most high and his son. Peep this. If it's if it be all possible, as much as lie in you, live peaceably with all men. Live peaceably with all men, you know. Aren't we Yashra I mean yeah, Yashra Allah? Yerosh, uh, uh, how you go, Army Jerusalem, a, a city of peace. Dearly, dearly beloved, avenge not your soul, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, say the Lord, man. You understand? Therefore, if thy enemy hunger, feed him. That's dealing with Jake and the truth you're going to be bumping heads with, man. That's not. It's not a good feeling, man. I'll be like, fuck, man. But you know, you got to persevere. If he thirsts, give him drink, for in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. And you got to pray that man, snap out of that, man. You see no brother been out here for 11, 12 years with you, man, get destroyed. It's not cool, man. You know? Now, now we're going to finish this off with this. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. You got to show that love, man. You got to show that love, brothers, man. I got the Lord loves us. And, and you show that you love the most high, 
By what? By loving your loving your neighbor, man. Loving your neighbor as thyself. Loving the most out of all his heart, man. So, Lord willing, man, this was a uh, you know a very touchy uh, uh a subject for me, man. I'm speaking from experience, brothers. And it's time to love up, do better with one another, man. Do better with your life. Whatever you can do to do better, man. To be to be more of a uh, um an attribute and an example to the body, man. You just gotta do that, man. Shalom.